After discovering a secret exit to their subterranean dungeon, Tarzan, O'Rourke, Jeanette, and Ashley find further progress barred by a heavy iron grill. Through the bars, they gaze down into the cavernous pit of the fires of Tor. Spanning the fiery chasm beyond the grill is a spidery natural stone bridge. O'Rourke stumbles onto the method of opening the bars, and the fugitives cross the slender causeway, open a grill on the far side, and find themselves in a crescent-lighted corridor. Darno and Uka, meanwhile, have been recaptured during an attempt to escape over the outer wall of Tor, and have been condemned by Atea to immediate death in the cavern of fire. The diplomatic Wong Tai has, through flattery, worked his way into the good graces of the Queen and becomes her chief advisor. In the subterranean corridor, a short distance from the fiery pit, Tarzan and his companions conceal themselves behind a projection in the wall at the sound of approaching footsteps and voices. Presently, two yellow-skinned palace guards enter the corridor from a cross passage. Walking between them and bound together by chains are Darno and Uka the Ratorian. O'Rourke, Ashley, as soon as they've passed us, we'll jump them. I'll take the one on the outside. You two, the other. Ah, uh, the yellow devil will never know it's struck him. Ah, uh, if I only had a good oak shillelagh. What do you suppose they intend doing with Darno and Luca? I don't know. Probably take them to some dungeon or the pit. Oh, oh, you can't mean throw them... Quiet now. Here they are. When I give the word, O'Rourke, Ashley, right out. Aye, my lad. Eh bien, mon camonami. This so charming mademoiselle la terre decrees for us a warm bath and... Oh. Now, O'Rourke, Ashley. Cousin! Cousin! the fellas I'm making. Don't let the people get hold of that sword. No! Oh, there's a If I were only free! Oh, no, Sure, of course, the major's got him. Here, do you yell at him. Take this one with you. Oh, he's down. Get his sword, major, and slap him over the head with it while I help Tarzan. I, I don't need help. So, now, we'll tie them up. And tie them up? But wait, there isn't a thing. That one, Tarzan of the Apes, in his belt, is the key to unfasten these chains. Right. Get it, O'Rock. May it, Tarzan. How does it happen that you and our friends are here? We'll explain later. The key, O'Rock. I hear ya. One minute, Lieutenant, and we'll have you both free. Ah, so, get as free as the birds. Do we lock these yellow devils up in the chains, Tarzan? Yes. We must hurry. We made enough noise to bring all the guards and tour down here. Again, Tarzan of the Apes, you have saved the life of Uka. Had it not been for you and your friends, all Darno and I would have perished in the flames of Tor. There. Yeah, that ought to hold the two of them till the crack of doom. Where were they taking us? As Uka says, we were to be thrown into a pit of fire from the bridge of Tor, whatever that may mean. Oh, how, how awful. Like that yellow man we saw falling. The bridge of Tor, eh? Into a pit of fire. Look through those bars, Dano. I believe you'll understand what that I meant. By the gods of Rock Tor. Ooh, it is a veritable lake of fire down there. Tarzan, these men should be gagged. Neither of them is dead. When they come to, they'll raise a howl. Oh, why well, gag them? That pit of fire is handy. Oh, Terry. Terry, you can't do that. Oh, be goody. It's what they were going to do with the Lieutenant Anuka. And it'll be two less people for us to fight later on. No, O'Rourke. We'll gag them and leave them here. Oh, have it your way, my lad. <laughs> Faith, and it'll take all that's left of me shirts to do the trick. Give me a hand, Mato. Mon Dieu, Tarzan. If it had not been for you and our friends, uh, I'd... Hey, uh, that fiendish woman. Fiendish, Lieutenant. Why, she's the devil incarnate. Oh, oh Faith Orlando. Your Uncle Jim don't believe so. He thinks she's alluring, fascinating, intoxicating. Oh, Cleopatra couldn't have been more desirable, eh, hey, Major? You're a blithering ass, Terry. Nevertheless, it's incomprehensible how such beauty can disguise a heart and brain so utterly cruel. Hell, there. If the fellows can whisper through them shirt sleeves, <laughs> my name's not Terry O'Rourke. Eh, hey, Lord Tarzan, what is our next step? Up this corridor. There must be a way out somewhere. Come. Well, thank heaven fate led us into this passageway, Lieutenant, instead of another. Oui, mademoiselle. But it is Uka and I who should give thanks to le bon Dieu for placing you in our path. Uh, how did it happen? Well, 
After the fight on the wall, Atea came from the palace with her guards and locked us in a dungeon. We got out through a secret tunnel. Hey, after Tarzan had a fight with a leopard, and after we crossed the bridge over that pit back there, we walked straight into your arms. You crossed the pit of fire, Tarzan of the Apes? Yes, Uka. There was a stone bridge. It, it was awful. Looking down into those flames, I, I expected every moment to be our last. But what happened to you, Darno, after you made the roof of the watchtower? As soon as I saw both of you disappear over the parapet, I quit fighting. Je vous expliquerai, mon ami. We waited until dark, then started down the outside of the wall. <laughs> if I had not lost my hold and fallen into a party of guards, we probably should have escaped. Guards beyond the wall? We, oui, we, oui, and mounted on elephants, mon major, and patrolling the jungle paths. They brought us back, and Atea ordered us thrown into the pit of fire. Mais what has happened to Monsieur le Docteur Wang Tai? He is still in the good graces of the Queen? Yes, and apparently well established in her household. We are still wondering how he accomplished it. He is a very clever man, Mon Major. Oh, he's a double dealing, treacherous heathen. I'm hoping to meet up with him before I get out of here. In a small anteroom off Atea's private quarters, the Queen and Wang Tai discussed the fate of Tarzan and his companions. The woman, Janet Burton, she shall be thrown to the lions. The two men will follow when they have seen her torn limb from limb by Toldo's successor. Um, Tarzan, or illustrious one? I, I have not yet decided what his fate shall be. Perhaps have him cast into the pit of fire, eh? <laughs> As you have done with Dano and the Ratorian? No. No, that, that would be too quick a death for such as he. He must linger, suffer in pain, until he pleads with me for his life. But he... he shall die. <laughs> it is not in the heart or mind of my illustrious queen to torture Tarzan of the Apes, nor yet to put him to death. What? How stay you, Wang Tai? I foresee no death for Tarzan at the command of the heaven-born daughter of Thor. You think I shall not kill him? How do you know that? <laughs> Your eyes, O oh, illustrious one, talk of love when you speak his name. You, you are a fool, Wang Tai. Do you hear me? A fool. He remains in Thor willingly, or he dies. Yes, they, they shall all die. And by killing them... What object will my queen have gained? They will be out of my way, out of my sight. The woman, Jeanne Burton. The illustrious one had honored this despicable person by condescending to regard his counsel as worthy of consideration. So long as it is agreeable to me, yes. And I may counsel further, heaven-born? What now? To put to death... Major Ashley, Terence O'Rourke, and Jeanette Burton would only arouse in the heart of Tarzan a great and lasting hatred against you, which, uh, <laughs> which I believe is exactly the opposite emotion you wish him to feel for you, eh? You are saying <laughs> that these people shall continue to live and annoy me? I am saying, resplendent one, that they must not perish by your command if you would win the love of Tarzan. You have already put to death Paul Dano, who was Tarzan's good friend. When he learns that, I am afraid. Come on, come. We will speak of this again, Wong Tai. Enter. It is Mungo and the two guards who led to their death, Paul Dano and Uka. Mungo, did the two plead for their lives before going to their death in the fire pit of Thor? They no die. What? Tarzan and other white people take them from crew and Tono. Ah, what you say, Mongo? Tarzan took Dano and Oko from these gods? It is so. Mongo find crew and Tono in chains in passage near Papis. They tell. Oh, once again he has upset my plans. Go, send guards to the dungeons where they were confined. Learn how they escaped. They must be in the lower passages. Bring other guards. We shall find them. 
And when we do, these Tarzan will be placed where... But come, we will search until they are found. A rope! Meanwhile, through a maze of underground tunnels and passages far below the chamber of Atea, Tarzan leads his companions from one dim corridor into another until, at the end of a long tunnel, they are brought to a halt before a massive iron-studded door across the end of the corridor. Hmm. The end of the road, eh, Tarzan? We'll never get through that. It is like many of those in my father's palace in Rochefort. My pressing on a certain stud, it will open. Let me try. He got it, he got it. Look, the cabin is filled with... Well, they look like chariots and armor. By George, they are chariots, old girl. And armor, battering rams, catapults. By Jove, that's extraordinary. Mais, ça c'est tout à fait impossible. It is, is impossible, mon major. These things date back to the Middle Ages. Uncle Jim, Terry, come here, look. Here are the rifles and ammunition belts they took from us. And Tarzan's bow and arrows. Yes, and it, that's more like it. I feel better with a rifle in my hands. Now if you can stand off all the yellowed men in Tor. Oh, Bigari, the place is a regular arsenal of ancient war implements. Where did the devil they come from? Someone comes. Listen. The guards. An open door will tell them we're in here. Get down behind those things. Quick. Mungo, the door of the armory stands open. Enter with your men. Search every corner of the cabin. They must be here. Find them. Mungo, Mungo. Mungo, Mungo. Ready. All of you. Here they come. <laughs> 